Can't keep playing that. Ooh. Spicy. Oh. oh. Spicy. Let's go. We'll get a new ball. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's very good. You up. jinxed him. Leg day, man. So my buddy from Why I Compete was in town. They have some cool stuff, man. They have everything from shoes to um, wraps to shirts to hats. Pretty cool stuff, man. He's a first responder. Good guy. Straight up American dude. Got to support American dudes. Strong too, man. Strong. While he might not have been used to the volume we do on training, man, he was uh, as far as strength and taking his set to, to the next level, man. He was, he was kicking ass, man. But anyway, what we did on leg press, right? So this is the uh, Rogers Squat Pro, is we worked up one plate, I'm sorry, we went two plate, three plate, four plate, five plate, six plate, seven plates. That last set was seven plates. We dropped down seven plates, five plates, three plates. All to failure. Now for me, after all the sets prior, yeah, I was pretty much done after about three reps of each drop. But, you know, it, it's all about pushing to failure. Like I always say this, man, muscles can't count. They just can't fucking count. They're really bad at math. What they do know to know is overload. They know progressive overload. They know volume. They know frequency. They know load. So when you do that, when you use all those variables to stress your muscle, that's when you grow. That's why this whole, oh, 8 to 12 reps. Oh, 15 to 20 reps. Oh, 3 to It's like, yes, but no. You can't look at things in a vacuum like that. You can't look at things like black and white. You can't look at things in a way that it's like, okay, you have to have these reps to grow. At the end of the day, the variables for muscle growth are things like frequency, time under tension, volume, load, how you progressively overload, and obviously the other factors, rest, sleep, hydration, nutrition, supplementation, things like that play a role in muscle growth. So when you look at things in a vacuum, you get results in a vacuum meaning that your results aren't going to be what they need to be because you're going by the book. Sometimes you need to throw the book away and just go. You know, you can't use a teleprompter every speech like Biden did, man. Sometimes you have to go off script. You got to be like a comedian up there. You see somebody in the audience and starts talking shit to them. That's weight training. That is lifting in general. That is what I look at it as. You can't always go by a script. When I give, a, when I give my client stuff, like at marklobliner.com, I, I let them know. Marklobliner.com is like coaching site. You can hire me as a coach. I let them know that if you want to flip the script, if you want to go off a little bit, have fun. Just do what we do. Just do the basics. And if you want to add or replace, go ahead. Just work hard. Anyway, we don't go heavy on hack squats. We go low all the way down. We pause it and then we go up. This is how I like to do hack squats. And I love having the bands attached. Arsenal has the attachments for this. Having the bands attached makes it where you can definitely, you know, feel the strength curve. So you're stronger at the top. So when you're bottoming out at the bottom, you won't be pushing as much as when you're locking out and flexing at the top. And if you think about like flexing on stage, you know, that's boom, right there. Oh, all the way up, bam. So at the bottom, you get that full ROM but you're not getting all the strain at the bottom in that susceptible position. So I've been breaking PRs left and right. It's crazy. I got a 150 pound dumbbell press for 17 reps, no elbow pain. 
I got 600 plus pound deadlifts for three reps after my back workout. No back pain. And those are things I've been suffering with to the point where I've tried TB500, BP157. <sighs> I've tried everything. But I'll tell you what, we were out of stock because we reformulated it. But machine motion, I've been taking it for eight weeks straight after it being off the market to be reformulated for a little bit. I'll tell you what, all these increases in strength, yeah, okay, the other supplements have something to do with it. I'll tell you what, it's easier to lift when you're not in pain. The way this product with Tamiflex in it controls inflammation is something that is astounding. Anyway, if you're dealing with joint pain, try Machine Motion. It will definitely help you out.